Okay, greetings Virgo, and welcome to your horoscope. Well, you're looking good, you know. Venus is in your first house now, so that's nice. You got just like a little bit hotter, you know. Yeah, that's right. You got a little hotter. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, it's a, don't get me wrong, it's a debilitated Venus. So the thing is, find the right way to compliment people. Find the right way to be good to others, you know, giving flowers or plants in people's houses to clean up the air. This is good. Little things like that, you know, good wellness things, supplements and whatnot. This can help too. Um, yeah, and now the sun's in the second house, so there's a, more of a source of income. Like if you have a little side business, Virgo, your side business is kicking ass right now. Um, Mercury's in the third house. Your communication is better than usual. You're, you're on top of your game. And even this weekend with Moon, Jupiter, Pluto, and um, Saturn all in the fifth house, it's like, wow, we're finding out the truth of love, what limits love, how we can transform our love, how we can be more loving, how we can be with better parents to our kids. Um, we want a spiritual relationship with somebody. There's Neptune in the seventh house. And then there's Mars over there in the eighth house. We want more intense, dynamic, lusty affairs. And we also see everyone else trying to grab the power. And part of us is like, ah, boring. Let them do it. And then we've got uh, Uranus in the ninth house. So, you know, we're excited about the spiritual truths we're learning. You know, it's helping us in our career and our karma. 